Hey, Tony here and hope you're doing good. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Aeroplan Reserve cards and I'm going to be comparing them to the OG Amex Platinum. The main reason I wanted to make this video is because the new Aeroplan Reserve are actually the new kits on the block, the new luxury credit cards on the Canadian luxury credit travel credit card market while the platinum has been here for pretty much a very very long time and both of these uh, type of cards they pretty much target the same segment the same demographic and as someone who has had both of the platinum cards in the past and I also currently have the personal platinum still I do feel that these cards are definitely really tempting the new Aeroplan reserves and I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are after always the biggest and the greatest sign up bonus and these cards are there to help you achieve that because the four cards right here are the single highest sign up bonus credit cards that's available here to Canadians. And also not just right now, but historically as well. And if you just sign up for, for example, the business platinum right now, you get 75 KMR points and that's valued as high as $1,500. And to think that just earning $1,500 by simply signing up for a credit card, it's still absolutely mind boggling for me. Welcome back if you're returning and if you're new, my name is Tony and on this channel, we focus on personal finance. We upload every single week. So if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe with the bell. And while you're at it, make sure you smash the like button because a lot of people don't know what actually happens is YouTube will actually show you more videos like this and vice versa, YouTube will actually show this video to more people like yourself. So it will help them out as well. And with that being said, we have a lot to cover so let's get right into the video to get started first with the point currencies the Aeroplan Reserve points will earn you Aeroplan points while the American Express cards will earn you MR rewards points then can be transferred to Aeroplan as well at a one-to-one -one ratio among with other transfer partners like British Airway Avios and other hotel partners, airlines, stuff like that. So MR points are definitely more versatile, but at the same time, it is worth to note that Aeroplan is actually one of the most popular transfer partners anyways. So because of the flexibility, though, MR points are still a little bit more valuable. Both of these point currencies are among some of the best point currencies here available to Canadians. For the sign-up offers, at the time of this video, the Aeroplan Reserve, both from the business and personal side, will both give you a total of 75k MR points, assuming you sign up for the free waitlist and met the minimum spend requirements. That's on par with the business platinum sign-up bonus at 75k MR points via a referral link, while the personal platinum is not as high. It is worth to note that 75k points is the highest sign-up bonus available to Canadians and also historically as well. Well, at the time of this video, the personal platinum is only 25k points, but historically, without the illness, it would be anywhere from around the 50k to 60k range in MR points. Still not as high, but pretty competitive on the Canadian market. From this category, and during the time of recording this video, Again, the Platinum business and also both of the Aeroplan reserves do take victory on this one. Although it is worth to note that depending on when you watch this video, this these signup offers do change and will change. So theoretically, maybe they will increase the personal platinum to way higher and then drop the signup bonuses on the reserves. So all is possible. As for the annual fees, all of these cards have a net annual fee of $500 being some of the most premium credit cards on the market and in the second year, the Aeroplan Reserve will actually go up to $600. Next, we have the multipliers. The personal platinum reserve will get you 3 to 1 on Air Canada, dining and others while business gets you 3 to 1 on hotels and rentals replacing dining. Over at the business platinum, it's a 1.25 MR flat on everything and the personal platinum, it's also a 3 to 1 model being travel, dining and others. From the multipliers here, I think that for most people, they will actually benefit the most from the personal platinum card because of the 3x on dining, which is absolutely insane and on also the 2 2x on travel which already covers Air Canada, it covers hotels, it might even cover car rentals and also other travel expenses as well and then the 1x on you know other categories also not bad and then in terms of businesses I would give it to the business platinum card 
again it depends on what kind of business you're running but most of the time business expenses probably falls under the others category which 1.25 percent or 1.25 uh, MR points per dollar spent is the highest so then the business platinum will then take the lead on that for this reason for this category I will rank the personal platinum number one business platinum number two and then the reserves at three and four the next most important thing we usually look at is perks and benefits so the personal and the business platinum cards have a lot of general benefits in terms of traveling while the aeroplane reserve has benefits more tailored to Air Canada and its loyalty program and its travelers the reserve cards key benefits are unlimited maple leaf lounge access for you and one guest on Air Canada flights, you get priority check and boarding baggage, which helps you skip those airport lineups. But I don't know how useful these lineup skips will be nowadays. Free first check bag for you and up to eight travel companions, which can be a very good benefit on Air Canada. Priority upgrades, which ups the chances of you getting an upgrade. As you spend on your card, you will actually get closer to aeroplane loyalty statuses, but do keep in mind also that you do actually have to fly to actually keep any statuses or get any statuses whatsoever and for those of you that are already elite members then you can take advantage of the status qualifying rollovers and e-upgrade rollovers to help you with more flexibility in your travels and also have an easier time of keeping your statuses year after year you also get an annual companion pass once you hit 25k in annual spend how the companion pass works is after the first ticket is purchased, the second ticket can be purchased between $99 to $599 depending on the geographic zones plus taxes and fees. I've also reviewed other airline credit cards that also offer the exact same perk without the minimum spend requirement and I'll link that video somewhere down in the description and above for you guys as well just in case this is something that you're looking for. Last but definitely not least, you got preferred pricing which is probably one of the best perks as an airplane card holder you can book with points with a discount versus without holding an airplane card keep in mind holding aeroplane statuses will further these discounts. As I said, the aeroplane reserves has a lot of Air Canada specific perks and I think that it's very similar to the mirror cards in that sense and that, you know, if you are in their ecosystem, if you are an aeroplane member, if you're an Air Canada member and you have some elite statuses whatsoever, there's there are all these ways to funnel you into their ecosystem and if you're going on a flight somewhere you see two competing flights it's very hard for you to justify with not going with Air Canada and even if the prices are a little bit more with Air Canada you will probably still choose to go with them because of the elite statuses the elite qualifying miles dollars and you know the lounge access and stuff like that with the platinum cards you're going to be getting instant hotel statuses with the personal cards getting you a little bit more status in the business although it is worth to note that you can also leverage status matching to achieve similar status levels with the other brands as well as take it a step further and get other statuses with other programs as well that's not covered by the platinum cards this is actually one of my favorite perks of the platinum cards and since i've gotten these cards i've received a room upgrade every single time i stayed at a hotel without slipping 20 dollars to the front desk i made a full guide on exactly how to status match and how this all works i'll link that video above and also down in the description for you guys my next favorite perk that i love about the platinum cards is the airport lounge access now if it is your first time hearing about lounges that it's really easy for you to overlook this but it's something that after you experience once it's absolutely life-changing these cards right here gets you into some of the best and some of the most variety of lounges around the world now there is a whole list of lounges you can visit including the centurion lounges for the ones you can just go in after presenting your platinum card you also get a priority pass with unlimited usage and this setup really gets you into most of the lounges around the world but unfortunately not including the Air Canada lounges but if you are at a fairly large sized airport a reasonable sized airport the chances are there are one of 
the lounges that's available there. My only experience that I wasn't able to get in a lounge with either my platinum card or my priority pass was when I was in Japan. It was a international airport and for some reason they didn't have a lounge that I can get into so I actually paid to get into one of the lounges but even then I would say it's worth it and again like it's it's really something you guys have to try and you some of you that might never tried it might think i'm crazy you know who would waste money going to these lounges but it's really something that you have to experience to know what i mean other than these there are a bunch of other credits and promotions that i was personally able to take advantage of which i've made videos on them before and these credits already paid for my annual fees time and times again not counting the sign up bonuses and other perks that also came with the cards you also get access to other premium perks like platinum concierge five hotel and resort programs the hotel collection the dining collection and amex offers now i think this category is where we draw a line in the sand to separate the people who will benefit more from the aeroplan cards versus the platinum cards the way i see it the aeroplan will give you more value if you are a frequent traveler with air canada most of the time while your departing airports usually do also have a maple leaf lounge present for most of us though, the platinum cards will benefit more here because a overall bigger lounge network and these hotel statuses can prove very useful if you are missing that hotel status. You're just not going to have as much of a good time as you would with the hotel status. With that being said, there are also going to be people out there who will choose to get both of these credit cards because if you are a frequent traveler, I can totally see you getting enough value for this to be worth it. Or for general everyday people, I still think it's worth it to at least try one of these cards for the first year because the way you calculate it, if you can, assuming you can hit the sign up bonus organically without spending more money than you usually would, then the sign up bonus is pretty much paying for your annual fee twofold and that's the way i see it in the second year if you don't enjoy the perks and benefits you don't think it's worth it you can always downgrade or cancel the cards and if you guys do need help hitting the minimum spins i do have a dedicated video on that on exactly how i hit my minimum spins now if i had to rank these credit cards i would probably put the personal platinum first at the business platinum second and then the reserves third and fourth and again these ranks can very well change depending on who you are what kind of spending um, categories that you usually spend on and what kind of card you're looking for your travel patterns and even where you're located as a word of caution if you are thinking of getting the personal platinum card i would actually wait and not get it right now because the sign up bonus is way too low at twenty five thousand mr points and if you didn't know american express does have a rule saying you cannot get a sign up bonus more than once even if you cancel the card and reapply later now 25k mr points is way too low to waste that one time thing on so if you are thinking of applying wait until it goes up to at least 50 to 60k before applying if you are thinking of going the aeroplan route then i highly suggest you to check out my two videos i made on the 11 new aeroplan credit cards i pretty much do an in-depth review on all 11 of these credit cards and if you're looking to go the american express route and are looking to find out more about the personal and the business platinum i've also got a review on that and a video basically breaking down both of these cards as always thank you guys so much for watching but wait before you go if you made it already this far into the video make sure you subscribe with the bell on this channel i upload every single week on topics just like this one and also make sure you smash that like button it really helps with the youtube algorithm and tells youtube to recommend this video to more people like yourself and again vice versa it actually tells youtube to show you more videos just like this one lastly comment down below and let me know whether or not you agree with the way i rank these four cards and if you would have ranked them differently and as always have an amazing day peace